Hi, and welcome to a Beckland farm. How are you today? I'm recording this video because I need your help. To be more exact, I need your advice and suggestion in regards of how to solve my cattle fence situation. As you can see, four to five feet high tensile electric cattle fence got rendered completely useless by the amount of snow. I call it a killer snow because any predator can just cross over and kill my animals. And here in Northern Ontario, we have plenty of predators. I'm lucky I have no animals right now, but coming winter, I will have some animals. I will have some cattle. And winter after that, I will have even more. I am planning to on getting 30 to 40 heads of cattle. So I need to find a solution and I need to implement it as fast as I possibly can. Well, I will have to wait for snow, of course, but after that, after the snow is gone, I will have to start working on it. I have a couple ideas myself and I will share them in a minute. But if you got any suggestion or any solution or any advice, please write a comment. I don't care how crazy that advice might sound, I will consider anything. Because I really need to solve the situation. I have looked around in my area and it seems like people using one of two ways to keep the animals safe. One way, they keep the, the animals in the barn throughout the winter. Once the winter is gone, they let it go on the pasture. Solution number two, they have like a fenced area attached to the barn. We're talking about fence eight to 10 feet high. Think of like a feedlot situation, but only for the winter. And once again, once the winter is gone, they usually let the cattle to go back to the pasture. Now, let's talk about what might work for me and not. Barn, I have a real small barn. It cannot accommodate any large number of animals. So that, cannot work for me. Yes, this upcoming winter I will have only four to five heads of cattle, but winter after that I'm planning to get 30 to 40. So keeping them in the barn is not gonna work. Plus, if I keep them in the barn, I will actually need to clean that barn every week. And here in Northern Ontario, in January, we get two to three weeks minus 40 every single day. So cleaning the manure in minus 40, at least once a week is gonna be real pain. Now, solution number two, having an area with high fence adjusted to the barn that I can actually see working. I really like when my cattle has a chance to go outside, get a sniff of fresh air, stretch their legs and enjoy an occasional sunny day, especially in January, since most of the days are dark and short. So I could see that working. I could potentially attach fiberglass, eight feet long, five, eight feet high fiberglass fence and put additional high tensile electric wires and make it electrical fence there. So I can see it actually working. So it's something I need to think about. The other solution that I actually found kind of solution looking through the internet is to install in a snow fence on the perimeter of my regular electric fence. As you see, most of the snow we get in here is snow that drifted from the fields from high winds. And so I was thinking maybe installing a snow fence on the perimeter of my regular fence and then cleaning my fence line, cattle fence line, with a snow blower. But to be honest with you, I'm not really sure if it's actually gonna work. I'm worried it might fail, you know. Uh, too cold, tractor might not st start or I might not be able to clean the snow right away and then it gets frozen. So I'm really unsure about that last one. That about concludes my ideas. I will need to decide something and implement it pretty soon. But as I said, if you have any suggestion or advice, please write a comment in the comment section. Being a first generation farmer, I will take any advice I can get. Thank you in advance and I will see you pretty soon.